today we're going to be talking about profit and loss okay first there are some terms that you will need to know like cost price the selling price and whether it is a profit or a loss okay so now first and foremost right I shall use uh, certain examples to talk to you about uh, cost price selling price and whether it's a profit and a loss okay so over here we have uh, Leon and Jinxiang okay so Leon is the main star here so for example if Leon bought a Scrabble set okay Scrabble set for $50 okay so the cost price uh, of the Scrabble set to Leon is $50 okay now, then one day Jinxia comes along, then he sees Leon's Scrabble set. He says, hey, that is a very uh, nice uh, Scrabble set. I would like to buy it from you. Leon says, okay, but I'm going to sell it to you for $55. So, Jinxia says, alright, I buy the Scrabble set for $55. So, Leon has sold the Scrabble set for $55. So, the selling price with respect to Leon is $55. And very simple, in this case, Leon has made a profit of $5. Just take 55 minus 50 and the profit is $5. I move on to the next example where we have Ting Ting and Carmen. Okay, now let's say Ting Ting buys a new handbag. Okay, the cost price of the handbag is maybe... Also, uh, okay, we write $60, okay, so she has a handbag, Carmen comes along and goes, hey, Ting Ting, that's a great handbag, okay, uh, maybe you can uh, sell it to me, uh, okay, then uh, Ting Ting says, okay, but since we are friends, okay, and also because uh, I've used it a bit already, so I was not selling it to you at $60, I sell it to you cheaper, lah. okay, I sell it to you at $40. So, with respect to Ting Ting, okay, selling the handbag, all right, the selling price is $40. So, in this case, she has actually made a loss. How we get a loss? We take cost price 60 minus 40, and the loss is $20. And that concludes my presentation on profit and loss.